It is a message not only scathing, but blunt. The Canadian Forces has an undeniable problem of sexual harassment and sexual assault, and it has to change. That conclusion is one of several in a long-awaited report into sexual misconduct in the military. It found the prime targets of the misconduct are women and members of the LGBTQ community. The biggest problem? The members at present do not have the sufficient confidence to report the incidents. So Deschamps lays out what must be done to fix it. The military response was equally blunt. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a no-fail mission. But it soon became clear the military may not fall fully in step. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky explains that. Terry. Well, Peter, this report makes Canada's military sound like it's stuck in a time warp where boys will be boys and women don't complain because nobody listens. There were many, many days that I thought, I'm just going to quit. Dee Brasseur was Canada's first CF-18 pilot 30 years ago, a shining example of progress, except... Briefing room walls were wallpapered with Hustler and Playboy centerfolds. You know, it was, if you can't take a joke, you shouldn't have joined, and women should be barefoot pregnant in the kitchen. Brasseur says things have improved, but... It's not nearly enough, according to former Justice Marie Deschamps, who reported today that the macho culture lives on. The problem of sexual harassment and sexual assault in the armed forces is real. Deschamps found that even today, victims of abuse fear they'll suffer if they complain. She says many of those victims who did report an offense said their experiences were atrocious. And she found a broadly held perception in the lower ranks that those in the chain of command either condone inappropriate sexual conduct or are willing to turn a blind eye. And yet, less than a year ago, the chief of defense staff said, move along, nothing to see here. I do not accept from any quarter the notion that sexual misconduct is simply part of our military culture. Today, as he prepares to retire, Lawson told a different story. As to the findings of the report, I'll be very clear. They're disturbing. Even so, Lawson fully accepted only two of the ten recommendations for change. He is considering the others, notably an independent body outside the chain of command to handle complaints. It is critical that such a center be truly independent of the armed forces in order to reassure victims that, that by reporting an incident of sexual harassment or sexual assault, they will be able to access support without triggering negative consequences on the, for their career or in their personal lives. But Lawson promised only to study that. What uh, we need to do is look at what provides the, the proper outcome for our members? I don't hear a no, so that's a start. Deschamps is hoping for the best, and so is De Brasseur, who says the military can change. There is no better organization in Canada than the Canadian Armed Forces to address that kind of cultural change because we have a system of that's an order. Of course, that depends on what the orders are. Marie Deschamps says other countries' militaries already have independent complaints bodies and she hopes that Canada's will come around. And there has been one big change already, Peter. The chief of defence staff is no longer saying there's no problem. Thanks, Terry.